Good morning, my yoga loves. So today I want to get started in rabbit pose, hair pose. We've been doing this a little bit more lately. Um, so if you need to grab a pillow or a block for the crown of your head, please do. So um, as compared to our normal child's pose, the knees are close together. I'm going to drop, try to get the crown of the head to the ground. That's not going to happen in my bag today. And arms by your side. Immediately coming into your breath. Couple more cycles. Gently bring the hands up. Press, lift the torso. Remove your block or pillow if you had one. Now taking the alternate, we're going to come into child pose. Knees come wide, arms come out, heart drops down. to all fours and let's come into three cow cat. Let your breath guide you like always. Tapping into a moment of appreciation that you are on your mat. And pause. Downward facing dog. Pedaling out, pawing out, lifting the tailbone, shaking the head, all the magical things. Left leg forward, warrior two. Yes, left leg. And take your time, right, settling in. Like, I'm like, oh, I could probably go a little deeper. Take your shoulders away from your ears. Just be in this pose right here. Straighten your front leg. We're going to come into triangle. I'm going to grab my block. Hinge forward, tilt down. Long term goal your bottom hand is on the outside of your foot. to warrior two. And then we're just going to flip it around. Warrior two, right leg. Straighten your front leg. You're going to lean and tilt. my arm to feel like I'm twisting. So my work is to bring my arm back into neutral and rotate from my belly button. So do a little self-check on you.
Back to warrior two. Wide legged forward fold. Both toes face point. Both toes face and or point the same direction. I tried to say that at the same time. And just hang here. Halfway lift, we're going to come into Skandasana. Left knee will bend, right toes will lift. Walk to the other side. Just gently coming into it, right? We haven't done many, any other stretches really. So we're just coming in gently to this. I'm not working on picking up my chest right now because it's already a deep stretch in my inner thigh and hip. Back to your wide-legged forward fold. Toes turn forward. Hips lift, head drops. Warrior two, left leg. Straighten your front leg, reverse triangle. Triangle. Warrior two. Warrior two, right side. Reverse triangle. Triangle. Warrior two. Wide-legged forward fold. Halfway lift. Skandasana, left knee bend. Other side. Again, the other side. Again. One more time, each side. For me, whoo! Move with your breath. Back to the center, halfway lift, last wide-legged forward fold. Rise up. I'm going to heel toe my feet in a little closer before I rise up just to protect my knees, but you do what works for you. Come to standing, eagle pose. Right arm under, right arm over. Right leg over, did I say arm? Mm 
release. I gotta be honest, I have a medical procedure later today, so I'm really trying to ground down personally in my practice. So hopefully you are taking that energy and you are grounding down as well. Left side. release. Sometimes I make an assumption that you like are energetically picking up on what I'm giving and I keep forgetting that like you're on a camera. <laughs> you're not here to feel my energy. So the energy of today's practice is grounding down, feeling rooted. Okay. One more time. Other side. Eagle pose. Switch sides, last time. Release, clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift the chest. Chin tilts up, pause here. As you're ready, if you can, keep your hands clasped forward, fold. Relax the arms, halfway lift. first thing just because we've done that skandasana. Maybe not. Couple more breaths. And release. We're going to come on to the mat. If you have a block or a pillow handy, we're going to put it between our feet so we can sit restfully. If even this is too low, just take your block a little higher, okay? Okay. Working to keep the knees facing forward, scoop the lower belly up and in, shoulders relax over hips. Couple of breaths here. Just noticing, oh, I feel a little stretch in my foot or my ankle or my knee. Just coming into the position. Then you're going to take your fingers in a mudra. You're going to take your thumb over your pointer nail. Palms are going to face up. Hands in the lap. Let your eyes close. Notice how the body feels. For some of us, we tend to lean forward, so the work is to settle back. Shoulders over hips, not over thighs. Notice your spine. Is there an opportunity to lengthen a little more here? Crown of the head reaching up, chin parallel with the ground. On your next exhale, press all of the air out. 
Inhale for four counts. One, two, three, four. Pause. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Pause. Two, three, four. Keep this breathing going. If you'd like to prolong the breathing by making your counts longer, maybe six counts instead of four or eight counts, so long as you continue that square pattern of inhale for a number, pause for a number, exhale, same number, pause, same number. You may begin to notice the feet are tingling or maybe the knees feel like they're pulling. I encourage you to resist the urge to move unless there is sharp stabbing pain. That is always our cue to get out. I feel the need to say unless you're in a domestic violence relationship, then anything that feels wrong get the fuck. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but please. As you're ready, you'll begin to release your breath and back into your normal pattern. Release your mudra. Just let the hands fall open on the thighs. Bring your hands to heart center. My hope for us today is that we are grounded in safety and security. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you, yogis. Take a few moments to get out of your leg pose. Maybe tap the feet on the floor. Have a good one.